So I'm here in the home of my senior pastor, Pastor Tim, and we're doing some home improvement stuff at his house. So Tim, tell me how you decided to update this room and what you've been doing to it. Great. Yeah. So we're in our downstairs uh, family room area and we built this place in 2001. And when we originally built it, uh, we wanted this room, especially the fireplace and the mantle to have a Northwoods feel to it. And we liked that for a really long time. Uh, As we've lived in here for um, 20, almost 22 years this fall, we started to realize like we wanted to update some things. We wanted to have it be lighter down here. So we wanted to uh, update it, modernize it. And uh, uh, basically every surface has been untouched. We've added lights, we've added sconce lights on a wall over here, moved our TV and hung it on the wall, put shiplap over there. Uh, we've painted the walls a, a gray, a, a lighter color, um, redid all the trim, the doors, and then also my wife regrouted um, the fireplace, made that a lighter color, and then we're going to make the mantle uh, a darker color and less north woods, more farm looking. And so we've got a beam from the farm that uh, you're going to stain and then also redo the corbels as well just to update the whole look so yeah good thank you yeah um so yeah tim reached out to me uh, nine months ago or something like that and um i came over and evaluated and we talked about what what they wanted with the the barn beam mantle so there's another pastor tim at our church i call him first and second timothy you're first timothy Okay. okay so second timothy grew up on a farm and i said what if we go to second timothy's farm and get an actual barn beam that's been on a farm and they the porters love that idea so we went with it and now we finally got the wood and uh we're ready to go so what are we going to do with the mantle specifically uh, with the mantle we're going to take these corbels out uh, both these are going to be removed and brett's going to be making new corbels that match the the style of the mantle piece that we'll be installing it's about six feet long you need a little bit less than that so he's going to trim that up stain it maybe beat it up a little bit as well the beam that we had also had a uh, an electrical box on it so it's like this is as is and so brett's going to make it look really good i'm going to clean the bird poop off of it yeah, it'll clean the bird poop off of it insecticide it and all that kind of stuff and uh, then install it and then we also are going to try to keep we want to keep this outlet because we really like to have uh, christmas lights and other things up here as well throughout the season so we don't just have light coming from above we've also got indirect light here and there yeah. sounds good well I'm, I'm ready to tackle that um, i did bring a sample of um, colors did you guys choose you mentioned stain so is there yeah. we did not make a decision yet okay um We've got a leaning though. So I'm looking, just so you know, I'm looking to my wife over on the, <laughs> behind the camera here. We do have a... Uh, it's Saturday. She didn't want to be on camera today. Yep. So uh, we've got a clear, if I remember correctly, was one that we're leaning toward, which would be this one right okay. there. So just some finish. What's that? Oh. This one? This one's raw. Yep. So there's no, there's no, no, f- treatment no, no treatment at all. And then this one's clear. And this one's aged. And it seems like one of these two are the two that yeah. we are looking at, but we haven't made a final final yet. Okay. So, But we've narrowed it down. So if that helps. Good. Yeah, sure. Those two. Okay. Yeah. One of the lighter twos. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. Well, let me get set up and I'll get to work. All right.
So the first thing I'm going to do is make a mock-up of the core bowls. I want to get some practice uh, before I use the actual barn wood. So this is the same species. It's red oak. Went out and got two planks. And here's a quick shopping tip for you. These came from the random pile. It's about half price from the, you know, if you're going to the big box store and you get the nice boards that are covered in plastic, those are about twice as much as these random widths and lengths. So that's just a quick shopping tip for you if you get your wood at the big box store. Anyway, um, this is one by material and this is actually left over from the other mantle project that I did. This is the old mantle that I pulled out of the customer's house and I'm going to use this as kind of a proof of concept. I'm going to keep this board on the outside of these mock-up corbels because I want to maintain the aged appearance of the actual barn wood. Let me go grab that real quick. So this is the barn wood that I'm going to use for laminating up the corbels. I don't need all the wood in the corbel to have this appearance. It only needs to be on the outside edges. The barn wood layer only really needs to be on the left and the right of the corbel. It um, doesn't really matter what's on the inside because that'll never be seen. So I'm using new wood for that because I have a limited supply of this aged barn wood. So that's why I'm using this finished layer to get some practice on just maintaining the outside appearance, not doing any milling or sanding or anything to get this into shape. But on the back side, I need it to be flat so it'll, it'll laminate properly. So I'm just gonna chop these down to size and then get them straight and flat and ready for glue up. I'm glad I milled down that tenth board because if I hadn't, I'd have been short. This corbel needs to be at least seven and a quarter inches wide, and with nine plies, we would have only we would have been short of seven. So we needed all ten. I'm smarter than I thought I was. I'm out here in the cold and the snow to talk about the sponsor for today's video. I'm just kidding. I don't have any sponsors. Let's get back in the shop. It's cold out here.
now I've got two identical blocks of wood, or close enough to identical anyway, for what they are. It's, uh, you know, this is a barn beam mantle, so it's supposed to be a little bit rough and aged and beat up. So now the next step is to put a profile on these. The customers just want a very basic, no frills profile. So we're just going to do kind of a cove and then the slight round over on the front and bottom corners. Um, so I've got to get that shape kind of drawn out here. I'm going to get the shape just right on one of these corbels and then I'm going to make a template from that so I can be consistent from side to side on each corbel and consistent from corbel to corbel. And then I'm going to use that same template to make the real deal. Uh, i got to find something big enough and round enough. Nope, I need something bigger than that. I made these as, as big as I could with the material that I had. I tried to remove as little as possible with all the milling process and the cutting off the glue and all that stuff. I'm just trying to keep them as big as possible, mainly because of the size of this, this stuff with the finish on it. That's seven and a quarter was the maximum that I had. So I was just going with that. With the barn wood, I'm gonna grab that. Barnwood, I've got um, a little more than that to play with. Maybe another, this is the most narrow board that I have. It's uh, about a half inch wider than these blocks. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to use all that full depth, but this is what we'll be working with on the finished product. And then some of this Corbel will be set inside the rocks and mortar, but I don't know how much. I haven't removed the old corbels yet, so I don't know how deep this is going to go into the wall. The beam that I have is pretty dead on six inches. We're not going flush to the edge of the corbel. The beam is going to be out maybe about a half an inch maximum. One and almost one and three quarters to play with. One and a half. Yeah, one, closer to one and a half. Hopefully the hole that we need to set these into isn't any deeper than an inch and a half. We'll see once we get back to Pastor Tim's house and take that old corbel off. That's kind of the purpose of building these mock-ups is I don't know exactly what it's going to fit so I can't go ahead and make a finished product without fitting first. So now we're just going to do a really simple cove and i got to figure out how deep that cove is going to go. I'm going to start with half the width of the beam. So if the beam is six inches, we'll go three inches down. I'm going to draw that out and see what that looks like. So I'm going to do the old, um, the, the bowed wood trick. So I'm just going to pencil that in just so we can look at it. take this kind of wonky off cut. It got a little thick on the bands, uh, thicker than I wanted to, but it gives me a good view of the, how good a job gluing up I did. I did a great job gluing up, if I do say so myself. Yep, that happened. You know, I couldn't find any thin wood and I didn't want to take time to make one. Um, everything wanted to snap. So, going with plan B and the old paint can method. We're not coming all the way around because I don't want it to be an exact circle. I'm just looking for the arc on the 
back here. And then we can just extend that out. Okay, 